So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this table apart. I'm going to carry this with me all the way up to Ohio because we're headed up there for a very much needed visit with family. Haven't seen them in over a year. While there, I'm gonna take advantage of my dad's wood shop and we're going to build a new table out of a beautiful cherry wood, the same wood that I've been using inside the boat. I have done some running around to some shops that we don't have close to us where we live in Myrtle Beach. I went to Ikea and I found... Let's change our story, let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. One of the things that we don't care for in our cockpit is this table. Now, don't get me wrong, we love having a table here. In fact, we're thinking about taking the table out inside the salon and putting like a coffee table or an ottoman or something like that, we think that that'd be a better fit for us because we have a table out here. So when we wanna sit at a table and eat, we can do that. But this particular table is past its prime. It's very wobbly. These don't really work very well. And it's a very, very heavy fiberglass. And there's something about wood tables that really appeal to me. So I think what we're gonna do is take this table out and rebuild it in a beautiful wood, maybe slightly smaller around the edges so that you can actually get around. There's really not a lot of room between the bench seat and the table, and we'd like to bring this in just a few inches to make it a little bit easier to, to walk around the table. I'm gonna take this table apart. We're gonna carry it up to the truck, and I'm going to teleport all the way to Ohio. <laughs> That's why I want your hands out to grab it. Okay. Done. So all we have to do is carry this back to the truck. Does that sound like fun? It sounds like fun to me. It's like screws coming out. Oh, they're stripped out. No wonder they're coming out. That's interesting. Grab the camera, bring it up here. To say that says 42, so this is probably oh, for a 42 foot boat. It looks like S D I V E N, and this looks like D I V E N. I can't see if there, there was there's some ink there, so it said something there, but I can't see, huh? I don't know what that means. All right, I've made it. And through the power of YouTube editing, we are in Ohio. So this is my dad's garage. And he passed away a few years ago. But if you're wondering where and how I learned to be a woodworker, it's from him. I try to get up here it's on average once a year. Here we are in July, I'm up here, and it gives me a great opportunity to help out and get caught up on a lot of things that need fixed and repaired. But also, while I'm here, I'm going to use the old shop, and we're gonna rebuild our table for the cockpit. We're gonna make some sawdust. So I've got one glue up done already, that's this one, and that's going to go for the middle of the table. 
Our table was designed with three pieces, and this is the middle piece. And it has this big, deep um, well. I guess it was a cooler. You could put ice and drinks in there or something like that. But here's the thing. For us, for our plans for cruising, we're probably going to be storing a freezer out there underneath the table. And this big thing hanging down, you know, it would be like this, would be in the way. So um, that's going to be omitted. We're not going to use that. So anyway, I've got this middle piece. Um, it'll have to be trimmed to fit a little bit more than it is. Uh, but anyway, so that part is done. That, that glue up is done. That's this. So, all right, so we're on our way. Now, um, I've got these two boards here cut for one of the wings. Now the wings, here's one of the wings. They're going to be a little bit smaller than this because we want it uh, a tiny bit smaller. We don't, we want to be able to get around the table a little easier, but we also don't want to have to like reach out far to put our, our stuff on it. So just a couple of inches. Um, so I've got these boards cut pretty close to how I want them. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the glue up here. This is the big wing. And then I've got another, a smaller wing down here on the floor. And I've got the boards already set up exactly um you know with plenty of wood so that's what i'm going to do next i'm going to do this glue up here and then i'll do that glue up there and then after probably overnight then i'll start cutting these out a little closer okay fast forward about a day and a half and i've got the bulk of the table put together go ahead and have a look at this While Corey has been working on the table and the drawer fronts here at the house, I have done some running around to some shops that we don't have close to us where we live in Myrtle Beach. I went to Ikea and I found an ottoman, which I'm hoping is going to work. We're planning to put an ottoman in our living area, the salon of the boat, instead of the table. The table that's in there was handmade by somebody. It's not standard with the boat. It's too big. It hangs too far over the seats. It's just kind of awkward and we're, we're making a new cockpit table. So that's going to be our main dining space now. So we would rather have a loungy area. But one of the important things was I wanted the ottoman to have storage. I was specifically looking for a round ottoman. That's been very difficult. So I found this and I think it's actually going to fit really well. You're going to have to wait to see the whole thing, but this is the top. It's probably hard to tell in the slate, but it is a dark gray and our seats are a medium gray maybe? Yeah. So, okay, but this is what it is inside. There's storage and I bought these, these in some different sizes. These are gonna go around the back of the settee in the salon. So I think that these will fit. I bought just a couple in different sizes and then we'll see what works. And then I'm planning to order more of whatever works best. They are not expensive, so that's easy to do. Um, we have, let's see, let me do this. We have a couple of the Ikea down pillows with a cover, but I picked up a couple more because they're so affordable and then their covers are cheap, but I got a couple different kinds. So let me see, oh here. So I got one that looks like this, which I thought might be nice against the gray, actually. And then I got one that looks like this for a little contrasty color, but again, still not gray, just a pop of color. So we got two of these, the octopus. So I got two so I could hang them out in the cockpit to dry stuff. And his little hook, I think, will fit over top of the bimini rails. Fruit nets. Ella found these in the store in a little display. Um, and I bought two of these. But they're actually pretty big. I think they're going to hold a lot. So one of the other things I did, which is something I have wanted for a really long time, and this is something I wanted when we bought our boat for cooking on the boat, is a Le Creuset cookware set. I think I'm saying that right, it's French. So this stuff is really expensive, and I don't like to spend a lot of money on things, but this is a quality product. So I'm willing to spend a little bit more. However, we knew there was an outlet store near where Corey's mom lives in the Columbus, Ohio area. So this is what I got. I've already cooked in it, 
but I'm really pleased with it. So we got it out after I bought it and we made breakfast in it. It's an enameled cast iron set, but it cooks over a low to medium heat. And even at that low to medium heat, it browns really well, it cooks really well, and it's excellent. So the other thing that I bought on my first trip was a brazier. This is again enameled cast iron. The other one's a black interior enamel. This is the cream color. The black one is for browning and this is for like slow cooking basically sort of thing. But I made curried vegetables in this. It was delicious. The nice thing is once they're done, I can set the lid on it and set it out on the counter and it stays hot until everything else is finished and it's perfect. So I'm very pleased today because I love this so much I and because I'd never cooked on it before I just wasn't sure I saw this and I liked it but I went back for it because I was so excited but this is a little griddle it's very small as you can see but this will fit on the grill on our boat the grill on our boat has a built-in griddle but it's kind of marred up and it's a stainless which is fine um, but this is the enamel cast iron again this is not the raw cast iron it's enamel um, but I'm excited to try this out. I haven't tried this out yet, but again, on sale at an outlet, this is a discontinued piece actually, I guess, but I've seen these on eBay for more than I paid at the outlet store. So thanks guys for hanging in there with us. I know this video is kind of a mixed bag of projects. We really need to travel and see family with COVID that had happened. We hadn't seen some of our family members in quite a long while. So it was an important trip for us. We did get some things done for the boat while we were here and we got some purchases made. On the way out, leave us a thumbs up and we'll see you back on the boat next week. Bye. So not only was my dad a woodworker, uh, amongst a lot of things, that wasn't his profession. It was more of a hobby, but you can see it was, it was a pretty big hobby. Um, he also, at a time of his life, worked in a, uh, a dealership um, back in the 60s, 70s, I think, somewhere in there. And he worked in the shop in the parts department and one of the things that he did was he rebuilt this 1954 Chevy pickup truck.